Monday, June 12th. Let's take a look at the ES, guys. And we have some... Uh, you can see that we held over the weekend, right? And today we get a sell-off, right? Something that I'm expecting. Now, the move is pretty significant, but it's not that big of a deal. We're still bullish on the big, the big time frame. So let's go into the smaller time frame. And we can see what happened here, right? We had this push. Friday, right? We got a mega push on Friday into a sell off. And then we finally came back into this zone, grinded a little bit, and then we ended up going above it. We closed that way. And then Europe brings the price up a little bit, but they failed to hold it. Do a little sell off. What have we got now here? We got NA opens into a sell-off into a bounce right so now the thing is we are expecting some numbers tomorrow some news so today with with anticipation like with that in mind the market is anticipating that there's going to be some type of a move coming tomorrow so for that reason because everybody knows something's about to happen like everyone's just being careful when they're trading so today it's like it's going to be a boring day because of because of the fact that tomorrow we're, we're gonna have some significant numbers they're either gonna well i'm pretty sure they're gonna crash the market but there there is gonna be volatility right we might get like some kind of a spike up and then just do that right or straight into a sell-off right because of what they're going to say, I just can't think of a scenario where it's just gonna be super bullish for the market without them making something up or just keeping everything the way it is, which will also cause a sell a small uh, small correction. So right now we're in an area where basically we're in the, we're in an area where like we're causing something like this so it's either we're gonna have this type of move right and for that we're gonna need some type of like if the news is some some somehow bullish we're gonna see something like this or the the news is gonna be bearish and we're still gonna see something like this and then a sell off right and those are like the best setups to look for like something like that just a massive push to a point where the price stops moving and then you just short it there or a massive push on bad news and you're shorting there as well now if the price breaks down and goes down well you can you can you can short on a bounce something like that but right now there's basically no trades to be taken today and we just have to wait to see what the news does to the market. And after that, we're going to probably get into some type of a flow, right? So for that reason, we're going to keep it short today. And yeah, yeah, there's not much to talk about. It's a boring day. And you just have to be uh, uh, patient and just, you know, go do something else with your life, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let's hope tomorrow is uh, going to bring some good news. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some uh, decent trading tomorrow. So yeah, just rest for that day and be ready tomorrow to kill it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.